So let me just quickly cover the development environment that I'll be using. As you can see here, I've created a virtual server on DigitalOcean running Ubuntu 14.10. And unless I'm demonstrating something specific to another operating system, I'll be sticking to Ubuntu 14.10 throughout this entire course. Using a virtual server for this just makes it a bit easier to work on a stock version of Ubuntu and it'll also allow me to easily reset everything whenever I need to. Of course you don't need to do this in order to follow along, but it is a very convenient and cheap solution should you wish to do so. Right, let's get on to installing Nginx on the server using a package manager. I'll switch over to my terminal here and I've already SSH'd into my virtual server. If we check the release file, you'll see we are in fact running Ubuntu 14.10. Now, when installing Nginx on Ubuntu, we'll use apt-get, as this is the default package manager that ships with Ubuntu, and conveniently apt-get already contains the Nginx package. So, it's as simple as running apt-get install Nginx, and we'll wait for it to install, confirm, and that's it. We now have Nginx installed. And if we look in etc Nginx, we can see those Nginx configuration files. We can quickly test if this has worked by simply visiting our server's public IP address. So we'll copy that IP here on DigitalOcean and just point the browser to it. And we get that Nginx default holding page load, which confirms that our install has worked and Nginx is listening for incoming requests. Okay, so you might have noticed that we didn't actually start Nginx after installing it. And this isn't always going to be the case. So let's see how installing Nginx on CentOS differs when using the yum package manager. Back on DigitalOcean, I've recreated my test server with CentOS 6.5. And if I head over back to my terminal and now try installing Nginx with yum, just by running yum install Nginx, we'll get this error saying no package Nginx available. This is simply because the Nginx package doesn't come with yum as standard. We can, however, quickly fix this by simply installing the ePAL repository by running yum install epal release, which is basically just a collection of yum packages, including Nginx. Once this is done, we can try again by running yum install Nginx. So there we go, this time it worked, and we can again confirm by checking the configuration files exist, and also by heading over to the browser where we last loaded the Ubuntu install of Nginx. This time, however, when I refresh, we get cannot connect to server. And when we check back in the terminal, we can see that Nginx isn't running. So in the case of CentOS, we need to start the Nginx service. Head back to the browser and refresh. And of course, we get this new landing page as we use the ePAL package, confirming that we have a working install of Nginx. That's really all there is to this. And whilst this method of installing is very convenient, it's also very limited. So in the next video, we'll take a look at tailoring our install by building Nginx from source.